My name is David Welch. I'm coming to you today from Brothers Tech Center to show you how to take out your rubber bushings on your square body trucks. That's the 73 to 87 Chevy and GMC trucks. Now, a couple of weeks ago, you saw me put a sway bar on a truck. That's going to give me a sportier ride, more firm cornering. By installing urethane bushings, it's going to increase that even more because your rubber's got a bit more give to them. This is also going to last me longer. Now, these install a little bit different than installing the rubber ones, so stay tuned. You're going to need this. So I took these out a few days ago and every time I walk by them I just put a little bit more oil on them so they'll soak up really good and be easier to work with. Uh, I can go ahead and take the nuts off the end here. Big giant washer. I'm going to be saving all of this. So now what we're going to do is um, we need to save the casing that this rubber's in. So what that looks like is this. So this outside metal casing right here, we're going to be saving that and we're going to be installing our new urethane bushings into that. So when we're doing any of this work, we want to make sure that this outside casing does not get damaged. Now the inside has a little ring around it too. We don't have to worry about that because the kit comes with a replacement. So how we're going to take that out is we're going to get a drill and a bit. Um, and we'd want to have one that's just large enough to go into here, but not so big that it's going to do any damage on the outside. Another thing that'll help out is if you take this rubber on the outside and you go ahead and cut that off, you can use a uh, sawzall, a die grinder, whatever. But if you take this off, then it just helps you out a little bit more. So I'm going to get this off. I'm going to go ahead and drill out and then that'll make it loose enough and hopefully we can get the rubber off without too much trouble. Let's see what kind of trouble it's going to be. Okay, so you can use a die grinder on there like you saw me do. That um, kind of melts the rubber, makes a little bit more mess. The Sawzall is a little bit better no matter what you do. It's going to get messy. You're going to use a drill and a drill bit, and you're just going to go ahead and drill into the rubber and make it weaker and weaker until you can go ahead and start pulling it out in chunks like this right here. So it's going to take you a little bit. It is messy. Um, don't do this in your living room. And uh, once all the rubber is out, your shafts will, will the shaft right here will just come out all the way. So just give me uh, one more minute to get the rest of this out of here, and we'll see what comes next. With all the rubber out, the shaft will just come out nice and easy like this. Now right here on the ends, there are some shafts, and we're lucky on these. These are coming off nice and easy, but it is quite possible that yours are going to be rusted on there really tight. If that is the case, you know, uh, oil obviously, but you'll notice that there's a seam on this. So if, you too, uh, if this is frozen on there too much, you can get that on there and then just get a chisel and on either side, go ahead and widen out this little seam and it'll make it easier to come off. Sometimes you might have to heat them up too. Just depends on how nasty you got to get. Um, when this is all off, now I'm going to go ahead and clean everything up. I'll clean up my shaft on these ends here and things like that. And then inside of my original um, metal pieces here, I can use different things. I can uh, burn it out a little bit. I can get wire wheels and get in there. 
a wire brush like this and go ahead and get in but whatever method you use make sure that you get all the remnants out of here so that the new bushing will fit in there nice and neat uh, give me a few minutes to clean all of this up and I'll be right back now when we're doing all of this we want to protect our casing as much as possible but try as you will more than likely you're going to get some scratches and gnarl it up a little bit so just get yourself a dremel tool or you could get some oil in an emery cloth or a round file and just feel in here and feel wherever you got any kitches and just go ahead and grind those down a little bit now if i was going to be doing this for a customer's car of course we get all this sandblasted and painted and pretty before we put it back together we don't have time for that now obviously so we're going to skip all that out, but I'm going to go ahead and clean up these um, channels right here. Then I'm going to start installing these. All right, now let's go ahead and put everything back together. I'm going to get some um, thick grease right here, wheel bearing grease, put it on the shafts here on either side. Then I will slip these on. Go ahead and install it in the shaft here, or the uh, lower control arm right like that then we can go ahead and install urethane bushings here um, this is kind of like a metal grease if you will for metal on metal this uh, grease right here comes in your kit it is more specific for the urethane so we're going to open this up and get a pretty reasonable amount on the outside and on the inside got one side in just started by hand got my other side here get that tucked in there and we're gonna get a hammer like this dead blow hammer we're just gonna get it started on both sides and you'll be able to do this both sides until the shaft here in the center when these get too close together We'll have to um, do something a little bit different. I'll show you in just a second. And at some point, your threads on the shaft right here, they're gonna come up even with the end of the bushing. So you're gonna use something like this right here. I took this out of a uh, ball, point, uh, ball joint press. And then it has to be hollow in the center so that the shaft can go into the middle and then we'll just keep hammering. So this table's a little weak. I'm gonna need to do this on the ground. Give me just a minute, will you? So I got my uh, urethane bushings in as far as possible. I have to get them in at least enough to be able to go ahead and get a nut on one side and get some threads on there. We're going to take our big washers, put them back on, of course. And so now I can, uh, they're both fitting. So now I can go ahead and tighten these in and they should move it on in. Now, when I'm tightening these up and it gets all tightened, it's going to be really difficult to move this shaft right here. And I want you to notice on this shaft, it's got a hole right here and it's got a hole right here. On the um, front cross member, there are pins in there that line up to this and they are generally not quite straight up, um, but just a little bit. Uh, about like that. So we're going to have this in as close to the right position as possible before I tighten these up because like I said it's harder to do after the case. So let's see what happens. Yeah, see that's starting to walk on me. So hold that shaft at the same time. Get a little on the other side. So when you're tightening that down, it's going to stop at a certain point, and that's because you have the crush sleeve in there stopping you from going all the way. So we can see we're all set up right here and pretty much ready to rock and roll. Your uppers are basically about the same. Now I've got a press over here and I could have used that to press things in and out, but there's a reasonable chance that you don't have one at home. So I'm doing it the old dirty way so that you can do it at home. You don't have to take it to the shop and get it fixed. You can do it. I know you can. You make sure you check us out on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to the YouTube channel because every time you do, they're giving me 15 cents now. We'll see you next Tuesday.